It's actually in the first week that I started. Uh, my manager briefed me on the Smart Times initiative by Welsh Government and I looked at the Eventbrite page and there was actually a workshop starting by meant her mum how to be a Smart Time workshop. So that I booked onto that literally within about two days of starting the role and that was really helpful with three in all and that took me through the stages of developing an action plan and how to work with um, people who were key partners to feed into that action plan and then take that forward towards development of how to actually put it into practice. So I work very closely with the Town Council, their regeneration officer, and also with Richard Howells, who was the business champion, who is quite involved in a number of initiatives in the town, including the food festival, but also he runs the Olive Tree Delicatessen. So he is quite au fait with utilising data. Um, but he also wanted reassurance that the data would be anonymised, that we wouldn't be tracking people. So it's trying to allay their concerns that we weren't using it for Wi-Fi, we weren't using it for an app. It was purely for the purposes of trying to evidence the number of visitors and footfall from the number of devices in town, but in no way we're tracking individuals. It was purely to give a baseline of data so that we can use that as a case for investment and applying for funding to make town better for people. So from developing the action plan, we then had eight devices, Cisco devices, which the Welsh Government gifted us. And those devices um, quickly it became apparent they wouldn't be enough to cover the entire town. So uh, we developed a funding application for transforming towns funding, again from Welsh Government, to, to supplement those devices and to purchase some additional ones, uh, the lower one technology devices and that gave us a coverage for a far greater area and also gave parity to businesses which may have been outside of the, the main street, which if we'd only relied on those eight which we were gifted, it wouldn't have given anybody the opportunity to be counted in that data. So it wanted to give us a coverage of malls in its entirety, so as much as possible in business communities so that everybody would be able to access that data if they required it to see well how many people are passing by at certain days and times um, and that may help them with business openings it may be malls has a half day closing on a thursday and traditionally monday a lot of shops tend not to open but the data may tell people well, actually that's quite busy at certain times so it could help them plan do we want to try out opening another day or it could be utilized to look at staff rotors um, stock level so there's a lot of potential um, but only by having enough devices to cover the area we felt was is the right approach because we need to ensure that everybody had um, a parity level of parity to, to take participate in the project so with the additional funding from transforming towns we purchased additional equipment and we decided to also trial some devices um, essentially sort of um, IoT, Internet of Things, similar devices uh, to look at testing things to see if it made a difference. So for example at Bailey Hill we've got the temperature and humidity sensor, uh, we'll have a soil moisture sensor, a smart bin sensor, um, air quality. There's in, it's limitless of things that you can do and to try and collect as much information as possible and that will help us to, to make informed decisions going forward and it gives us a baseline of data to look at well this is where we are now but hopefully we can move on and look at where we'll be in the next year or two and how can we make it better. Fusion and digital connectivity so since COVID-19 there's been a, a massive shift um, a lot more people are hybrid working, so people are spending more time in their local towns than perhaps they did previously. And by having a smart town in malls, that was great for a pilot project, but what we're looking at is equipment in other areas as well, in other towns, to see is there a difference between these areas, um, are there different patterns in terms of um, the numbers of visitors, or the days, or the times, is, and trying to 
give an opportunity countywide for other opportunities. So it, it may be that uh, we have um, buildings where they want to tile uh, perhaps some of the sensors we've got that will detect if um, a door is being left open and that can impact things like freezers in schools, so to avoid food wastage um, or to put trackers on expensive pieces of equipment like potentially defibrillators to see if we can ensure that we don't lose track of these things because they're vital pieces of equipment. So there's a lot of scope countywide that um, we felt we didn't want to just focus on one time, we wanted to give all parents an opportunity but the Smart Time Project is a catalyst for all of this.